Hey guys, my name is Shazen A, and today we're doing another easy baking oven cooking with me a thing. <laughs> I'm weird, I'm sorry. Um, no, I recorded the strawberry cake um, video and I did a half of it as a character called Bruna and I did the second half just as myself because even I was getting annoyed with Bruna. But if you enjoyed having it with her, I can most definitely do the baking show as her, but today I'm just gonna do it as myself because I'm actually just editing the first one, so I haven't gotten your guys' feedback yet. Um, but I wanted to make sure that if you liked it, I had another one ready to go. But, um, last episode, like I said, we did the strawberry shortcake, so today I still had, um, they gave me two recipes, the strawberry cake and the sugar cookie. So today we'll be doing the sugar cookie one. So we will start, I already went ahead and pre-cooked my oven. <laughs> no, okay, so uh, number one, plug in the la la boopsie and turn it on, preheat the oven for 20 minutes, which I did this time. Evenly coat the included pan and cookie mold with cooking spray. So I have the cookie mold, which I got 5% battery. Oh, okay. I gotta plug y'all in. Hold on. So we are plugged in. So what I was saying is that I have these little button molds here. So remember they're La La Loopsy and she has, I think, like buttons in her hair or something. Is she, isn't she like a rag doll or something? I don't know. Um, but keep in mind to parents who might have a little girl that's playing with the Easy Bake Oven or a boy, whatever, or a 22-year-old mother who wants to play with an Easy Bake Oven, um, some of the things are not included. So like with step number two, evenly coat the included pan and cookie mold with baking spray. The included pan and the cookie mold. So do I need uh, both of these? I'm gonna coat both of them just in case, but I got some cookie cookie spray right here. So, um, like I said, you'll need like cooking spray and like a mixing bowl. That is not included. So the pan is sprayed and the cookie mold. Okay, that was step number two. So step number three, mix the dough. Uh, so we're gonna pour the sugar cookie mix a dash and a sprinkle of water into a mixing bowl. So let me grab a bowl. I came prepared this time. No, last episode we seriously had some, oh, I forgot scissors. <laughs> okay, um, so we need to pour the sugar cookie mix, which I have conveniently in this little baggie. I put the, um, the rest of the uh, stuff from yesterday the um, frosting mix and the sugar cookie mix in here. La la loopsie sugar cookie. And where'd my scissors go? Oh, I got them, I got them. All right, my scissors. And so I'm gonna add this right into the bowl. Ooh, it smells terrible. <laughs> and then it calls for a dash and a sprinkle. A dash in one sprinkle, which um, is these little measuring spoons. They literally say like dash and sprinkle. So this is a dash and a sprinkle. Okay, so the two smallest ones. Let me go get some water. Okay. Add that into the bowl and mix around with a spoon. I, I always feel like there's not enough water that calls for. Like, especially right now. Oh, well, it is a dough, so it's supposed to be, like, super thick. But it's, like, still really powdery? I don't know. I might add just a teeny bit more water. Just, like, a, a dash. Okay, yeah, I think that helped. Okay. So it's turning into, like, a thick paste, almost. I think it's supposed to be a... a dough, but it's really, really pasty. Okay, so, like my skin. <laughs> okay, step number four. Oh, stir until, oops. The dough will look dry. Do not add more water. Uh, roll the dough between your hands to create one large ball, ball, and then separate the dough into six equal pieces. I can't follow instruction. 
Whoopsies. Yeah, that's not going to happen with this because it's like super pasty. Don't add more water. Don't do it. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is, again, not listen to instructions. And I'm just going to kind of scoop, scoop out the dough and put them right into here because my dough is so pasty. It's just, it's not going to stick together. I'll tell you that right now. So I'm just going to scoop it out. Now, if you listen to instructions, do what it said. Roll it into a ball and then split it into six pieces. But if you're an idiot and can't listen to instruction like me, then hey, we'll make it work. We'll work with our stupidity. Okay, I now have all six filled with dough. So the next thing, uh, use a toothpick, loosen the edges of the dough from the mold. What? Press each cookie, oh god, this might not have worked out to our <laughs> Press each piece into one shape on the cookie mold. Using a toothpick, loosen the edges of the dough from the mold, then lift the dough out with your fingers. Sugar! <laughs> I won't be able to. So you know what we're going to do instead? <laughs> I can't follow simple instruction, it's pretty sad. Is it actually kind of sticking together? Maybe if I like freeze it for a second. Give me a sec. Okay, so I put it into the freezer to hopefully kind of thicken it, thicken it back up a smidge. Uh, hmm. All right, well, I don't have a toothpick. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is destroy the shape <laughs> and kind of scoop it. These are not gonna look pretty at all. Does that look like a heart to you? Kinda, looks like a butt. All right, I'm gonna try to scoop the rest of this dough. Maybe we'll just make one big one. No, we'll make six disgusting looking ones. Okay, so we are scooping the dough into the bowl. Okay, really, I can only kind of fit three in here. <laughs> so the next instruction is, oh, place three shaped cookies onto the round pan. Place a round pan into the center of the baking slot, which I know which side is right now. And you use the oven spatula, blah, 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 baked for eight minutes. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and move. Oh, I'm plugged in. Okay, that's okay. Oh, I forgot it was behind me. I thought it was over there. <laughs> so special. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and place our three ball blobs into the side with the oven on it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and place that. Okay, and push it in until it says stop. Make sure the doors are closed. Okay, and we'll be back in eight minutes. I'll be honest with you guys. This doesn't look too appetizing. <laughs> Ow, that's really hot. Okay, we need to try a taste test. This looks like butt baked. Like, b baked butt. I mean, look at that. I mean, they, I think they could have been, like, adorable if they were in the shape of the buttons like they were supposed to. But, they smell good. Whoa! What did I make? Cookies out of an oven? Alright. You know? It's not terrible. No. The more you chew it, the grosser it gets. Um, these definitely cooked a lot better than the strawberry one, but they're really not great. Like, yeah, they have like a weird taste to them. I don't know. Still another fail. I'm looking for a delicious one. And I'm going to Walmart right after this, so I'm going to go into the section and look for another recipe for you guys. But I hope... Oh, I need to turn it up. 
I hope you guys really enjoyed another um, Easy Bake Oven. If you know of any Easy Bake Oven recipes, for whatever reason, um, that you want me to try out, then let me know, please. I'm filming my outro. <laughs> I got a big smile. If you guys know of any recipes specifically that you want me to do, or if you saw it in the store, or whatever, let me know and I will do my best to find them. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this series. It helps me out a lot and also reminds me and lets me know that you guys are enjoying this and that I should, <laughs> and that I should continue this series. And until my next video, I'll see you next time.